go. So I can put on some cooking lo-fi. Using the same lo-fi used for the Lego stream because everybody seemed to like that lo-fi. Hey, what's up? Okay. All right, I'm gonna just get all my ingredients. Let me see here. Uh, first we are making. Oh, we should make the dough first because. The dough has to sit in the fridge for an hour. What's up? Thank you, Evan. Awesome. I'm glad. All right. For the dough, we got flour and cake flour. since the last cooking stream. Yes, it has. I know. I don't even remember the last thing that we made. Sugar for this. Okay, gotta get sugar. Uh, baking powders. Us to use. Thank you. The lighting is low. How's that? I just turned the lights up more. Oh, the kitchen aid is so heavy. There we go. Also, this is the book that I'm using. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas cookbook. And here's our little recipe. <laughs> it was, it went really well. Thank you so much for asking. We have lots of good food. Lots of good desserts. I cooked a lot and I baked a lot. Oh, I made like four things. When was the last cooking stream? I don't, I feel like it was like a couple months ago. Hey, I hope you're well too. Did you guys have a good week so far? The week's almost over, like it's 
literally Friday tomorrow. I feel like this week went by so fast. I've actually never used this before. So, good thing I have it. It came with the KitchenAid. Well, thank you. I just bought this top. At Forever 21, I actually was at the mall and I like walked by the store and I saw this like on like one of the front tables and I was like, okay, something is soft and pink and sparkly. I have to have it. <laughs> and then I have it. Oh. There's my wants pork buns and stat. Okay, one and a half cups. Actually, I am not going to use, I just realized that I got out the gluten-free flour. These are not going to be gluten-free pork buns, so let me just get the real flour. Satisfying. Hydrate? All right. I do have my water somewhere. Here. Also, guys, I'm so sorry. I keep meaning to set this up and then I get really busy before my stream and I'm rushing, but Next cooking stream, I plan on having a second camera, like somewhere like right here, just so you guys can see what I'm doing as well. Um, Cause I, I wanna have two cameras set up for next time. And I apologize, I'm like, I keep getting so busy, I'm not able to set it up. But I have my second webcam that I'm gonna use. I just have to set it up. I think I need a um, I need a second tripod for that, but I think that's a second hydrate. Okay, hello. Yeah, for sure. I know we talked about that last time. I'm definitely down to do... I'm down to do a Christmas cooking stream. Do you guys have any ideas on, like, what Christmas stuff I can make? Okay. This 
is I hope that um, cake flour is the same thing as pastry flour. Do I have any uh, do I have any chefs in the kitchen right now? In the kitchen. In the chat. Is pastry and cake flour the same thing? Because I could not find cake flour at the store. I only found this and it's called pastry flour. Yeah, ask him, see what he says. Let me know. Love this spoon leveler. Um, you're betting it's the same. I think so. Like it was kind of a thing where I was like, because I went to two stores looking for uh, cake flour. So it was kind of a thing where it's like I can't find it, so I'm just gonna use pastry flour, whether it's cake flour or not, and see how it turns out. I don't know. Oh, thank you. Cake flour is a little finer, apparently, but it's basically the same thing. Okay, cool. cool. That's what I was, I was hoping that it would be fine. I mean, I didn't really have a choice, but you know, I've changed the recipes on my cooking streams before, and like, everything's been fine, so it's all good. Okay, whisk together the all-purpose flour, cake flour, Sugar. I need three, three teaspoons, tablespoons of sugar. Three tablespoons. What's the sugar for? That's weird. Teaspoons of baking powder. Here we go. I want to use. So whisk together the flour, sugar, baking soda, and salt in a small bowl. Whisk the water, oil, and the yeast. Okay. Hey, Argentino 101, how are you? Okay. That's the whisking. Whisking away, and now we will do. It even says the temperature I need for the warm water. Okay. Off to the micro lobby I go. what we're going to use for the temperature. For how many people is this meal? Well, does it even say? Oh, 15 buns. Wow, I did not realize there was that many. Well, we already started. There's going to be 15 buns whether we like it or not. Instant yeast, which is this. It is 6.16 p.m. I live in Florida. It is 3.17 in Los Angeles. Ew, why does it smell so weird? Smell this. 
It smells really weird, I'm not even kidding. It's still good, it's good for another year. Yeast smells weird. It's 017 in Italy. Sniff scream. That does smell weird. I know, right? Okay. Let's take the temperature of the water. So, this is too hot because it says it's 142 and we need the water to be 110 so I guess we have to wait a little bit and I'll put the other ingredients in how much oil two tablespoons of canola oil It's the early morning. Oh, it's midnight. Oh, I'm so silly. I don't know that time metric. It's so bad. And like, I've tr people have tried to teach me the, that metric of telling time, and for some reason, like, it just doesn't click for me. It's, oh, yeah, midnight, midnight. That's not, that's in the night. It's middle of the night, midnight. But I know some people say early morning. I don't know. When would early morning set in? Would you say like 2 a.m.? Cooking strip time, welcome, can't believe. Okay, so it's zero. 21 a.m. in Germany. So does that mean it's is it 12:21 in Germany? Okay, YT, you say early morning is like 4 or 5 a.m. Okay, I see. Okay, let me take the temperature of the water now with my special device. Let's see. What does it say? Damn it, it's still too hot. I mean, does it matter? I don't want to burn the yeast. Let's see. We're going to do it. We're just going to do it. See what happens. One and then a half. It's the same time zone. Oh, wow. Look at you guys being neighbors. Thank you, Miss. Just bought it. New York is your dream city. I've never been to New York. 
The only thing I know about New York is Seinfeld. No, I'm just kidding. I know more than that. Dang, how do y'all know the time zones that well? I can barely keep up with daylight savings. And it just happened. It gets dark so early now. I hate it. Okay, let's see here. Whisk together and add the yeast mi mixture. The yeast. Add the yeast mixture <laughs> to the flour mixture and mix until the dough. It's smooth and feels like a marshmallow. Okay. Let's try that then. Let's do it. Alright, 10 minutes. And go into a ball and place in the white heat room. Cover with damp kitchen towel and set aside in a warm place until doubled in size. It's 
pretty doughy. I think it's ready. It's really warm. Let's form it into a ball. I think I'm gonna do that. I just got out Christmas decorations out of the storage. Jet lag is crazy from Ireland to America. I bet. I bet. I am going to Greece. I think it was like 16 hours. Oof. We stopped though. We did a stop in uh, Amsterdam and then went to the rest of the way to Greece. <clears throat> I don't have my tree up yet. I, I actually just put away um, like the fall stuff. I don't even have my Christmas stuff out. Just my Christmas kitchen towel. <laughs> It doesn't, I don't know if it feels like a marshmallow yet. most ball-like it's going to be. Ta-da! Put it in the bowl. Now you witness this is the size of it and we're gonna do a magic trick. I'm gonna put this over it and put it in the oven and when I take it out in an hour it will double in size. Pecan pie. Pumpkin all the way. Love pumpkin pie. Okay. Alright, what now? What now? Hey, thanks for the follow, sir. Apple. I like apple too. Uh, I've never made a carrot cake. But I like carrot cake. You know, that could be something that we do for the next cooking stream. What if I did like a Christmas carrot cake? Is that a thing? I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Um, we're making the filling next. we need any more of this stuff. I think I could put it all away. Yeah, all right. Next step. Triple layer Christmas cake. I just made a birthday cake recently and it turned out really good, so I don't doubt my birthday cake skills.
flower. Whoops, sorry, I almost knocked you over there. always keeps the area clean, right? Okay. Got my pork right here. I need scissors to open that. Chat co just collectively got a black eye from that hit. You guys are fine. It was just a love tap. And my Christmas sweet hair in Italy is Pandoro. I don't know if I've had that. I'm gonna look that up right now. Pandoro. Ooh. That looks so cute. Is it um is it a lemon cake? That looks so good. Okay, but like I would be so down to make that. That looks so good. get the ingredients for the filling. Poison. Mmm, pistachio. It's not a lemon cake. Oh, filled with Nutella. Mmm. Hi. Um, this top is from Forever 21. And these jeans, I don't know. I think they're uh, Fashion Nova. Yeah, it said that it was a... Uh, that dessert, it said that it was cream filled Pandoro. Okay. I don't know how they got it like so many different levels. I feel like I'd need a special cake pan for that. Uh, honey.
Man, okay, I better hydrate for this. Man, you're making me squat in jeans, too. Mean. Ugh. Why did you squat? <laughs> tried this before. to post this live uh, it should be saved to all of my clips on my twitch chat but I also um, post my cooking streams on YouTube and when we're done I will post what they ended up turning out like on my Instagram too Was that two or three, guys? I forgot. I think it was only two. Nothing wrong with extra soy sauce if it wasn't. It's fine. I think it was two, yeah. Okay, we're good, we're good, because I needed three. Alright, and then this is... This is wine. I want to try it. Oh no, it's specifically cooking wine. Okay. Family saw Disney's Wish and Napoleon Theater in theaters. Oh, that's fun. I love going to the movie theater on a holiday. Such a vibe. 
Uh, I actually hosted uh, Thanksgiving. I had family and friends get together and it was like a potluck. So everybody brought something and we just kind of uh, just sat around, told each other what we were grateful for and ate lots of good food and watched the football game. Hello, motivated. My family woke up early on Thanksgiving to have waffles while watching the Macy's Day Parade. I love waffles. Waffles are so good. Ciao, Sabo. I don't. I don't root for any particular team. I don't have, um, I mean, I feel like the most, like, popular football team, I don't know, for Los Angeles, is it like maybe the Raiders is like one of the most popular? I don't know. Are they any good? I don't know. Rams. Oh, Raiders are... Oh, yeah, that's right. So, then who's... What's the L.A. team, then? <laughs> yeah, how was Napoleon? Because I saw that preview on YouTube and I wanted to see that. I was expecting the film to focus about a start of the film on Josephine, which I knew nothing about. There were two sex scenes that I felt were unnecessary to show. Uh oh. Now I gotta see it, um, because I'm very curious. Boxing and MMA are your kind of sports. I've actually been to, um, do you watch cage fighting? I've been to one of those before. The four battles shown in the trailers was great. I mean, it looks good. There's some good actors, right? Sex scenes, think of the children. <laughs> ingredient that was like you need this it's necessary and here I am not even putting it in there what am I thinking I need a whole ooh that smells good I need a whole half a uh, oh, teaspoon half teaspoon I almost bought a tablespoon ground black pepper. Oh, thank you, Sabo. Animal violence, there's a graphic violence scene. Oh no! No, I'm not into animal violence. No. No, I cannot see that. Well, I guess I'm not seeing Napoleon anymore. <laughs> Once you say that, I'm not kidding. I won't see it. I didn't even see Guardians of the Galaxy because someone told me there was like a really sad scene in it. And I didn't see it. Is it because of the, the animal abuse or you just mean like in general? I 
Okay. Was much worse. Oh, uh oh, both. Oh God. a lot of steps. This is a lot of steps. Okay, wait. One thing at a time. Let me make the sauce. Uh, something about, something about my country. Well, we have Las Vegas, which anybody that tells me like, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not from here. I'm from a different country. I'm going to America. Like, what should I see? Like, 
I think Las Vegas is like the one place that there's nothing else like it in the world. And I feel like that is like the number one like travel destination in America. I love Vegas. Like I've, you know, and I've even gone like, you know, maybe five times in my life, but I still feel like I haven't seen everything. As many steps as a Lego streets. No, there's not 498 steps. <laughs> it's actually only like, yeah, see, it only covers two pages because the next page we have this Cyclops eye stuffed chicken shawarma mini pitas. So <laughs> this is the only, the only two pages. Why Las Vegas over the Redwood Forest? I've never seen the Redwoods. I know they're tall, but I feel like Vegas still has more to see. Don't come for me. I love nature, okay? I love nature. I need just some rice vinegar and cornstarch. starch, canola oil, ginger. I have two different types of ginger. I have sushi ginger and I have ginger paste. Wow. I'm surprised I've been to the Redwood Forest before. I've never been invited to the Redwood Forest. I've never been to San Francisco either. Oh, did we have a hydrate? Oh, okay. I need more water. trying to drown me. <laughs>
whisk together the vinegar and the cornstarch. When did you go to Disney World? Uh, I went, when did I go? 20, 22. So it wasn't this year, but it was the year before. Um, what American dishes I don't like? Hmm, hot dogs. I don't like hot dogs. Although, I don't know if it's American or if it's German. Are hot dogs German? I don't know. Starch, uh, oil, green onions, and ginger. Oh, this has to be heated up over the stove. Okay, since we're using the ginger, ah. this before. <laughs> Ugh. Can somebody open this for me please? I need help. That is true. I don't know. I have no idea what the American did. These clothes, okay. so hard, I can't do it. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, guys, we still can't open it. Still, still can't open it. Just throw it on the ground. Punch the bottom of the jar. Ah! 
I'm so strong. I use my super strength. Mmm. It's sushi ginger. <laughs> We didn't even need this for the recipe, by the way. I just wanted to eat some. <laughs> we needed the ginger paste. <laughs> but I've never tried some, and I'm like, we're using ginger. Let me just eat the sushi ginger. Why not? All right. Um, what does it, <laughs> it want me to do now? I got to... It's all a lie. I'm gonna heat up the oil. Okay, got it. Ginger paste. Supergirl streamer, thank you. It's all a lie. <laughs> uh, I would say we're at 50%, 50% of the process with this recipe. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet, Sabo. You will want a pork bun once they're done, for sure. Um, they're gonna be good. Let's see, what do I need? Ginger, oh. Soy sauce and that mixture. I will be right back.
This is looking good. This is the sauce. It smells amazing. You didn't, you didn't have lunch? What? You gotta eat something. Save it. Um, this goes. Does this goes on top of the pork? Okay, I save this. Is good so we did the filling we did the sauce we already made the dough so it looks like we're done mixing ingredients now it's just putting them together um, and it's gonna be a lot of work putting them together so I feel like I have to clear this mess really quick um, yeah yeah, if it makes more than 15, I feel like I'm going to have to give a few away, but I think it's going to be good. Did you guys know ginger is really good for you? All right. 
what do we need to do? I'm um, to make the pork, that's what we need to do. I think we it just has to cook. Ginger ale. <laughs> I think getting it straight from the source is probably the healthiest option, but ginger ale is great, especially when you, it's like, it's good for digestion, in my opinion. Oh my god, do I have the fridge open? I swear I thought I shut the fridge. <laughs> Okay, uh, I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. Are we ready for the big reveal? I think it doubled. No, it definitely doubled. It definitely got bigger. Okay, cool. So that is done. Then we got the dough. Um, so I'm gonna leave it like this, and then we put the oven. fridge smarter than a fifth grader. Oh my god, remember that show? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? I used to watch that and I would like, I would be sitting there so angry because like the questions they would ask, I'd be like, we never learned that. Like I never learned that in fifth grade. Like that's BS. <laughs> Welcome to the cooking stream. I haven't thought of that show in forever. It was wild. I feel like those kids cheated. Like, you know that they were told the answers before the show. Like, you know they were. <laughs> Nerds. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, line a rimmed baking sheet or shallow roasting pan with aluminum foil and position a rack inside or on top. Remove the pork, add the, add, oh, arrange the pork on the rack. This is the pork. Turning once halfway through until charred and cooked through about 30 minutes. Transfer the pork to a cutting board and let rest for 15 minutes. Slice the meat thinly, and then chop into small pieces. Transfer to a bowl and set aside. Okay, so I need a bowl, or I need like a special pan. We can definitely roast it in this. I want 
watched the boys. Are you ready for the next season? Yum. Okay. I think what we're going to do, let me unplug this. this into a dishwashing stream while the pork roasts in the oven. Uh, let me look up how to, how to assemble this. Cut 15 three inch squares out of parchment paper. Turn the dough out onto lightly floured work surface. Divide the dough into 15 pieces, each about one and a half ounces. I don't have a kitchen scale. Uh oh. Um, roll each piece of dough into a ball. Cover the dough balls with a damp cloth while you roll them to keep a skin from forming. Uh, on a lightly floured surface, starting with the first ball you rolled, roll the dough into a four and a half inch round. Use your thumbs and four fingers to pinch around the edge so it is thinner than the center. Holding the dough round cupped in the palm of your hand, place a tablespoon of the pork filling into the center. Use your cupped hand to push up the dough until the edge is complete. Pinch and twist the edge into completely and close the filling. Place the bun on a parchment square, then place a large on a large rimmed baking sheet. Cover loosely with plastic wrap while you continue forming the bun. Hi, Danica. Prepare a stovetop steamer. Starting with the buns, you assemble first add as many buns as you can while keeping them spaced about one inch apart. Steam until puffed and dry looking, but still white. 13 to 15 minutes. Transfer to a warm platter and repeat to cook all the buns. Leftover buns can be stored in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to a week. Steam before serving. Interesting. How old am I? Um, how old do you think I am? Also, you have two kitchen skills? Oh my gosh. Yeah, give it to me right now. Just pass it through. Thank you. Yeah, I wish. That'd be dope. I don't think a normal scale will work because um, a normal scale I think does pounds and not, well it does ounces but I don't think it will. 
23. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you so much. Do you think I'm four years younger than I am? I'm 27. <laughs> Reading again. All right. <clears throat> um, I am going to take a quick bathroom break. I'll be right back, and then when we get back, we are going to do a dishwashing stream. Who's ready for dishwashing? Somebody's birthday? Oh, happy early birthday. Okay. The food is currently cooking in the oven. Okay, here we go. 
Here we go. Ta-da! You have been transported to a dishwashing stream. Alright. Okay. Here we are. Taylor Swift. I am not a huge Taylor Swift fan, I'll be honest. Um, there are some songs that I love, but I'm not like, I don't know every song. Um, and I didn't go to her uh, big tour that she had. Well, thank you, Cranky. and like say they were like oh you know I have an extra ticket like would you want to go I would go but I won't like go out of my way to go see a Taylor Swift concert concert for free if someone had an extra ticket for sure I would uh, I I definitely went out of my way for Ed Sheeran love him uh, <laughs> and I would totally if Miley Cyrus decided to go on tour I would totally see her Uh, my favorite artist, I have to say, Ed Sheeran, uh, Miley Cyrus, and SZA. Hannah Montana tour. <laughs> from Italy and they're really really popular right now is it is it man's man skin is it ma man skin I really like them man skin is it man skin or man skin Dishwashing. The dishwasher is full. I definitely um, ran the dishwasher before my stream, so, or else I would be putting all this in there. Weezer in concert. It was great. I saw them before they came out with their new album. Henry Cavill, yes. Witcher. I toss a coin for Henry Cavill. Weezer in 2016. That's when I saw Weezer. How funny. Okay. What? 
you you were the top five percent for Taylor Swift all this stuff okay who did you buy what was your guys's like number one genre kind of looks like he'd be good for cuddling afterwards also straight <laughs> that's funny that is funny in the middle rap uh, I got hip-hop no I didn't no hip-hop was my second I got I got pop it was pop hip-hop R&B and lo-fi of your top fans listeners. Oh dang, that's high. That's really good. You deserve a thank you for those bands. Yeah, wrap this out. Go look at yours. Hey. Travis Scott was your number one. Yours will be cringe. Why will it be cringe? Like doom. Weird noise, basically. <laughs> oh, thank you, Justin. I love it too. I love pink, soft, and sparkly. not miss the cooking because we have the pork roasting in the oven and we still have to assemble the pork buns roll out the dough and all that it 
have 10 minutes left on the timer. drop the pork buns to you guys. A pork bum. They just dry with this computer. So I did not do a very good job cleaning this one. Whoops. Not my gums, my butt. What? Why did you say that? to see how it's going, see if it's burning or anything. Hopefully not. Let's see. I could literally just do this, actually. Now you guys can see. Okay, here we go. good. I feel like I need to stir this really badly. Hold on. It smells amazing though. to cook in the middle. It's definitely not done. Yeah. Oh, it smells amazing though. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. And the dog smells it too. it up a little bit. Okay. Ooh, so delicious. 
delicious. What are pork buns? I will show you. I will show you as soon as we get back over to our little working station. Okay. Definitely gonna need this back. Hot. Gonna need that 10 more minutes. transported again. Let's go. And we're back. And the animals are fighting. One second. Hey. I just heard a hissing. I had to see what was happening. Okay. These are pork buns. Cha -cha. <laughs> All right. The the dough has risen. We need to cut. What is the parchment for? I don't get where that is for. puppy in the kitchen. <laughs> right. Lightly flowered work surface. Got it. Uh, her name is Cleo. Like short for Cleopatra. She is actually a rescue from a local sh uh, shelter. So she is, I did her, her DNA test. She's 22% Chihuahua, 
20% Rottweiler. She's also a Poodle, Maltese, Doberman, and Miniature Pincher. She is a bunch of different breeds. Hey, come here, come here. The cat doesn't want to play with you. Uh, we actually had her kind of only allowed in like one room for the first year of her life. Um, hey, come here. Because I have two cats and they just were really scared to have a dog around. So we kept them separated. But it's been almost a year and she hasn't been aggressive or growled towards the cats so they've been together and she's not confined to one room anymore and so hey come here it's going well she just wants to play with the cats and they don't really want to play okay now we must cut One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, your dog is a rescue? Oh, that's awesome. And you just got a four week old black collab retriever mix. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, um, I, I always rescue my animals. That's honestly what my family has always done. 
and I have the same I have the same idea of if I'm gonna get an animal there's just so many that are already in need at the shelters the shelters are always so full with dogs and cats and I just would rather save a life than pay a bunch of money for breeders oh thank you so much my hair has grown out a lot my roots are very very dark um, but I I kind of like it because I am letting it kind of grow out and I like having dark roots but um, that might be that might be what's different adopt don't shop exactly oh when I went to and I didn't even know that I was gonna rescue Cleo uh, I actually went to the shelter that day because um, uh, there's a cat um, around here that keeps having kittens and I wanted to catch the cat and fix her so she could stop having kittens and I went to the animal shelter to get these cages where you put food in them and then you collect the cat and then you take them to the shelter and then you release them uh, after they've been fixed and I saw her as a puppy and she like went up to the cage and I was like oh, man all right this is it so that's when we got her but I was crying and crying that day because of how many animals were already there and I remember I was there at the shelter and this one lady was bringing back her dog it was a big big dog I think it was like there's a big big like maybe black lab or something and she was bringing back the dog because she got it as a puppy and she didn't know it would get that big so like this dog had already lived with this lady for a couple of years and then she just is bringing it back because it's too big like it's just it just breaks my heart how many animals are still at the shelters and I agree with you um, agent I I want I want to volunteer at the shelter but I've tried and it just ends with like me crying and wanting all of the pets because I just want to I just want to take them all home. I know. There's what I've recognized because I also donate a lot to the shelters, and I'll bring, I'll like, I'll gather um, blankets and towels and like dog food from everybody that I know, and then I'll just take a big bundle of it to the shelter. And the last time I went, um, they told me that they mostly have big dogs because people just like don't realize like how much work bigger dogs are and like especially huskies like there was the shelter that I went to was mostly filled with huskies because they require a lot of walking and they have a lot of energy and they, they're escape artists and so people are just like not prepared so I agree like um insert you gotta do your research before you get a pet and before you commit to an animal um for sure that's what these people need to realize down the tiktok rabbit hole with pet adoption videos yeah I definitely like the like feel good videos about animals because the sad ones it's just it's so hard I'm bawling because these dogs reunite with their family I know right it's so TikTok can be so funny one minute you're looking at a kitchen cleaning hack the next minute you're looking at a good holiday recipe and then the next minute you're crying because like this frog got rescued out of a pond and is now living a life of luxury. Oh, hey, 
Have to separate those two. I hope you can adopt a dog too. Hey! Hey! Get your nose away from my pork buns. <laughs> this is my pork buns. No, my pork buns. Get your nose away from the pork. <laughs> hey. Okay. Uh, now that we did that, and we have them um, covered with a damp cloth. The first bowl of roll the dough. Okay. Cool. Now we're actually making the pork buns. This is awesome. I'm just trying to pop. Hey. Perfect. This is the mixture. I'm actually going to try it. See how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. That's amazing. So that is seriously amazing. So good. Okay. Alright. So... Now it wants us to actually assemble the pork buns. I don't know. I'm just trying to sort of make it into a ball. I feel like I'm making like ceramics right now out of clay. Hello. How are you? One of the main reasons the millennial want houses is so their dogs can have a yard to play in. Oh, I believe that, gee whiz. I believe that's that. Okay, here we go. Putting some of the filling in. Okay, it's a little messy, but overall it looks really, really cute. Okay. Thank you. You're just okay. Why are you just okay? Thank you. 
Thank you for the follow. This is really hard to do. perfect shape. Oh my god, thank you so much for subscribing. Okay, see this is our second one. Hey, hey, be nice. Did you hear my cat this? I think they're getting a little hungry for dinner right now. Hey, come here. Stop. Stop bugging her. Stop bugging her. I'm making pork buns. What? She smells it. You smell it? Yeah, it smells good, huh? Thank you. No, yeah. Get that. Okay, I think I'm kind of learning how to do it better because this one looks pretty good, right? <laughs> People have said that to me. Yeah, when I, when I take her on walks and parks. I just get nervous when like a mom asks that has like a baby and they're like, can my baby pet the dog? And I'm like, I just don't want my dog to bite your baby. Like I'm just scared. But Cleo's never bit anybody. Stretch, all right. I'm making the pizza. Kidding, we're not making pizza. Not today. Pizza is for the next stream. Yes. We should definitely do a uh, homemade pizza next. I did that before on the stream, but it was a long time ago.
a grill stream. Yes, I'm down. Chilling and grilling. I grill some vegetables. I grill some shrimp skewers. Some watermelon. Mmm. This is an interesting dumpling. Grilled watermelon, yes. You've never had that? It's so yummy. Homemade pizza a few weeks ago was incredible. Ooh, I bet. Homemade oh, pizza is great. Get some basil, slap some of that on it. Get some mozzarella balls, put that on it. Some pepperoni. funky shapes, see how they turn out. Mmm, grilled pineapple, yes. But not on the pizza. I thought we were talking about grilling. But I feel like if I did a grill stream, I would have to do something else too. Because grilling is like, okay, you just like marinate it and then you plop it on, and then you close it, and then you flip it, and then you take it off and it's done. Like, I feel like there wouldn't be that much to do. Okay. Now, I'm going to... They look so, so beautiful. Okay. Um, except the one in the middle looks a little, a little funny. That one. But that's okay. Um, I'm gonna, 
put these in the steamer. See how they go. timer for 13 minutes. Okay, perfect. Oh, thank you. We'll see. Have a good night. Oh, God. A Just Dance and gr Grill Stream? Okay. So I'd have to dance first, though, because then... No, I, I have to grill first. Because then if I dance first, I'll be too tired to grill. I'm gonna really try. Bye. I'm gonna really try and make these pretty. Like how they do in the picture. I don't know how they, maybe, maybe you cup it like that. them to work that hard and I would feel bad so what if instead of a private chef we just had like a robot that was like you could tell it to make whatever you wanted and then it would just like whip it up like ding yes I've always enjoyed baking for sure I used to want to be a chef when I grew up I 
I almost went to cooking school, but I did not because um, I've also been a vegetarian and I'm like such an animal lover and I always like, and I don't even know if this is true or not, but I was always scared that if I went to cooking school, I would have to like kill like a lobster or something and I just didn't think I could do it. A robot that just rolls up to you and asks if you're hungry. Hey, you hungry? What do you want? Can I get a hamburger and no onions, add pickles, a large fry, and a pina colada? Apple has got to have something like that at this point. I'll check. <laughs> yeah, I can hook it up to my Apple Watch and my AirPods and my iPhone and my iMac. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have all that. I only have AirPods. Have you tried any yet? No, they are currently uh, on the stove in my steam basket. According to the timer, we have seven minutes left. Until the first batch is ready. There's a guy whose job is only to name Pixar movies. Really? Any huge bonus for the movie Cars? Stop! You're lying. You're lying. The eye hunger. Ha! <laughs> You're funny. Must have taken a lot of effort. It's <laughs> funny. Cars three. Was there actually a Cars three? Was was the damn and then to the smiley face. I find it so funny that when you look at like really old pictures from like back way back in the day in the early 1900s and the 1800s like how did they not smile like isn't that so weird to think about it's like okay everybody stand around for an hour for this picture like that was a thing
look so amazing. Mm. <laughs> they look they look the for a long time. Oh. Well, got personal camera. We'll start a small one because the exposure was getting faster. The camera was going to steal it. It didn't smile because they made it. Mmm. Mmm, so good. People's teeth were not well kept. You know what? That's that one makes sense. Like they didn't smile because like maybe they didn't have like teeth to smile with. Makes sense. Actually, have to show you guys this we have to make dumplings as well this was a birthday gift that I got and you just press down and it makes dumplings so next time <laughs> well first we have our Christmas uh, we have our Christmas cooking stream and then we'll do dumplings definitely not ready yet it's the dough is still doughy um, let me see how only 13.
if you guys are curious to know Cleo's dinner, she is having the Rachel Ray Nutrish Real Chicken and Apple. It's almost ready. Um, the recipe book said to steam for 13 to 15 minutes. It's already been 15 minutes on the steamer for the first batch and they do not look ready. So I think we're going to keep on steaming it. And I think that um, it's supposed to look a little white when it's ready, the buns. Right now it looks way too doughy. <laughs> okay, let's go. They look amazing so far, guys. Have a lot of filling left. I think about five more minutes and they'll be ready. Um, do I see more celebrities? celebrities. I've met Miley Cyrus. I met her in the bathroom of a sushi restaurant um, in Hollywood. I met Judge Judy once. I have seen uh, Simu Lu eating dinner um, at a restaurant by the beach and I didn't bother him because he was eating with like a bunch of people. So I was gonna be like, hi, I'm a huge fan. Love Shang-Chi. I just kind of left him alone. I just didn't say anything, but I knew it was him. Um, and besides that, who else? Oh, I saw Jonah Hill at the airport at LAX. Um, he, bless you. He was right next to me going down the escalator. And he, like, he was sitting in first class. I was not sitting in first class. Um, but I, you obviously have to, like, you know, walk. I had to walk past him to get to my seat. And he was sitting there in first class with a red, like, 
velour robe and like socks on. He looked comfy as fuck. And um, then yeah, he was like going down the escalator at the airport. Oh my goodness. Uh, Judge Judy, I don't really remember because I was like super young. I think I was like 10. Um, Miley Cyrus, yeah, that was one I was actually, um, I was with my cousin <clears throat> and my cousin was like, that's Miley Cyrus. And I was like, no, it's not. She's like, yes, it is. And we were like 12. So then she's like, excuse me, are you Miley Cyrus? And she's like, yeah. And my cousin's like, can we get a picture? And she was like, sure. And then her friend uh, took the picture for us. Really funny. I would show you guys, except I was 12. And that was like the preteen, like awkward phase for me. So the picture is like super embarrassing. Like I, my face is red, my hair is super greasy. I, it was just not a good look. But, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> okay. I think they're ready. Let me get them out. Here they are. Um, the second batch isn't ready, so I need to go put that one back. to take a picture. Okay. 
Okay. Here we go. They're like steaming. That's how hot it is, but I am withstanding it because of how freaking good these are. They're, guys, like, I, I am so proud of myself. These are the best pork buns that I've ever had. The dough is perfect. It's definitely cooked through. Did you meet Miley Cyrus before she was in Disney's Bolt? Yes. Yes. I was 12, so that would have been 15 years ago is when I met her. Here, take a bite. definitely use this recipe again. Mm. Look at how cute these came out. I know that this isn't a traditional like dumpling shape, but, or sorry, dumpling, pork bun shape, I mean. But this shape was definitely easier to make than the round shape. Um, let me show you. recipe from this. It is The Nightmare Before Christmas, the official cookbook and entertaining guide. Um, it is Disney. Um, and they have crafts and they also have recipes and then like dessert stuff. They have drinks. Like look at I should totally I think I'm totally gonna make this Christmas eggnog. That looks good. But um, yeah, I think it's time for another one. So good. Mmm. <laughs> Guys, I would do this recipe again every single week. <laughs> so good. Lego cooking, she does it all. <laughs> I can cook. I can build. 
No, I'm just kidding. I will say that I feel like I need to do better on the presentation. But um, next time I'm going to be like a pro because I will have already made him. The flavor. They taste a little bit sweet. And I think it's because of the Chinese five finger. The Chinese five finger. The, the Chinese five spice. what it consists of in the in this the five spices cinnamon star anise fennel seed cloves ginger white pepper and licorice root so 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 some of that is like on the sweeter side but also um, there's so many flavors. I mean, we added, we added cherry wine, we added rice vinegar, we added, um, hoisin sauce, soy sauce, sesame oil. This recipe had a lot of ingredients, but it's worth it. Mm. We also chopped up green onion we put green onion there was a lot of garlic um and i guess this is a good thing we did not add salt so like you know it's a little healthy right because we didn't add salt <laughs> with this. Probably all of them. <laughs> mm. I gotta get the second batch. Hold on. of pork buns. I'd say that it was a pork bun success. Hey Alex, welcome. Let's see. Gotta take, gotta take a pick. Traditional, traditional shaped pork buns. So hot. It's been...
so, so good. Um, these pork buns are for my husband and I. Cleo, as much as she wants to try some, she's not allowed. You know, ideas, guys. What do I do with all the leftover filling? It's so good. I don't know what what to do with it. Should I like mix it in like some noodles? Like should I make some chow mein? What do you think? Tortilla. I don't know about that. Well, um, thank you everyone.